Today's video is going to be about animations with CSS. Now, again, this is in the um, Bootstrap Studio version 5.1.0, and there is some, like I've said before, some decent tutorials on this. <coughs> and the thing that uh, another thing that caught my attention was writing keyframe animations. And this is um, these have been around for. Just get this up here and this is bootstrap developers website here we're about writing keyframe animations and these let's say they've been around for about six maybe six seven years but the problem why i've never re been reluctant to speak about them too much before is because they don't always work in every browser so that can be a problem and it <laughs> you know you want you want your website or your you know whatever you're doing to work across all browsers really but there are at the moment these these things have been addressed and it goes on about these you know tutorials about what you what you have to do but if i was learning these things i would find that like a little bit sparse what I think the best way to learn animations in CSS is start with transformations and transitions. So for example, this is uh, a few pens on code pen that I've done. And this for this here flip me is just a card. So this really is just a transition. It's all it is, transition. And the code here is down there. But there's with these things it's not just like a few lines of code there's still quite a lot of coding to do usually learning about animations in css you usually learn as i say the transition and the transformations that's pivotal and then you usually move on to keyframes now if you if you use video editing you're probably familiar with keyframes but they are slightly different obviously it's code and that but you get the picture that it's it's um, you know like yeah one keyframe goes into the next and this type of thing so here is a traffic light I did um, years ago right so that you get the sort of red anyway um, then the amber and then your green and then it goes back and that type of thing so that's basically what that is and these are just, as I said, they're just like a few pens and that, that I did on code pen, where it's just a mess around really, you know, with these things. It's uh, I don't really take code pen too seriously, but it is a good playground. And when you see the code here on the left hand side, it's um, you've got your animation delay. With the tutorial that they've given, it is interesting, but it's you know. If anybody's interested, I'll uh, I'll do a few videos on this thing. So when you see see things, you know, just as a, a tutorial, sometimes it doesn't hit hit home about what you exactly have to do. And if you're like me, you have to like sort of see things visually. And you go on these uh, web animations, and you have to put in the browsers as well. Now I'll check in in case. Yeah, I don't have to these days. As I say, these have been done between four and six years ago. So um, I'll have a look and see which, because you used to have have to put things in for Opera and Chrome and the others for Microsoft and uh, Mozilla. So yes, I just again, as I say about these things, um, you know, just drawing things to your attention that you might find interesting. Usually people want to learn about some sort of animation um at some point or another in their development as a web designer or, or developer programmer at the very heart of it you could actually say an anchor link you know to a website is a sort of animation you just hover in your mouse over a, a cursor and uh, and you click a, a website for example and it is that, that in its very very basic form as an animation but they do make the web I don't I don't like them going you know animation all the time and every website and you get all these animations it's like a disco but um, used wisely they can be quite effective and it can actually set your websites 
you know to look nice for yourself and for your clients if you've got if that's the way you want to go so thanks again for watching these videos